It's already been a week since uh, a former one student of the Abrigel Senior High School, Stacey Autry, passed away as a result of alleged negligence on the part of school authorities. I'm currently at her family house where the family is organizing a one-week celebration on her behalf. And interestingly, in attendance were authorities from the Abrigel Senior High School, including their headmistress, Cynthia Enim. <laughs> While discussions were held between the family and the school authorities and the family posed some relevant questions as to what happened and why they allowed their child to die under such circumstances. While the school refused to speak saying that that was in line with GES protocols. They said they don't have anything to tell us today. And all the questions that we are asking them, they don't have answers. They are waiting because they have a way of dealing with those matters. The school has their own way of dealing with those matters. And GES to have a way of dealing with the, those matters. So when they are finished, the answers will come by itself. And we don't know how we are going to receive the answers from them. The family has experienced disappointment in the fact that the authorities of the school were unable to respond to their claims. This one, no way. We are not accepting anything from there. I even asked them, I wanted to see the house mistress. They should have come here with the house mistress. We wanted the mistress, the school head mistress, to talk. He said he cannot say anything, he is sick. And if he is sick, we don't know why he should be here. Education Minister Dr. Yao Seiduchum, an Eastern Regional Education Director, visited the school on Friday and held a closed door meeting. Currently, Investigations are still ongoing and the burial of the late Stacy Autry has been put on hold, awaiting autopsy. The issue has raised concerns over the duty of care for students in boarding schools and the protocols that guide their treatment. Judith Brown, TV3 News.